nanotechnology is the study of the very, very small. Um, if I can give you an example, a nanoparticle is one billionth of a meter in size. So if we take um, a single blood cell, for example, that's 5,000 nanometers compared to the size of a carbon atom, which is 0 0.07 of a nanometer. So you can see that even uh, blood cells are, are bigger than these nanoparticles. The report isn't directly focused on the nanotechnology itself. It's focused on the wider issues that are associated with nanotechnology and other emerging technologies. Um, it's, it's really focused on the, the social impact. You know, why should the man in the street care about nanotechnology if it's in his food or in his medicine? Um, and what are the implications and what do engineers need to do to, to help society further their knowledge and, and, and understand what this technology has to offer? Some of the more recent applications have been uh, in medicine, and this is where I think some of the biggest breakthroughs are going to occur. Uh, there's a, um, a, a recent development in uh, testing of uh, uh, kidney disease that's been developed by uh, BioNano Consulting, a British company. Um, and uh, that's essentially, it looks like a pregnancy tester. Um, it, um, it's used uh, to test urine to see if there is any damage to the kidneys. The difference between that technology, which utilises nano uh, particles within it, and the existing technology is that it's, it's much faster. A patient can do the test themselves, so they can monitor themselves over the long term. So this means that it's opening um, this technology up to, to people to allow them to, to do these sort of things in their own home where they feel comfortable and happy. And also, at the same time, save hundreds of thousands of pounds uh, in, in NHS uh, money uh, testing these things in a laboratory.